Hello everyone, this is KJPC Gaming. We are back in the Infected 8.3, I think. Uh, today, uh, we need to get some logs and finish up uh, all the furniture that I've put in to the grocery store. And uh, then uh, we're just about done with this build. The only thing left is waiting um, for uh, the dev to put placeables in the game. And uh, by placeables, I mean stuff that we can put on top of things. You're so lucky I went hunting yesterday. Uh, somewhere I have an ax. Uh, I need a lot of logs. Oh, there's a pig. Um, because it's the only thing left uh, for decorating. And, um, I wanted to, um, get all this stuff placed, uh, before I brought you back, because a lot of it is, um, a crazy amount of, um, screws and ingots and plastic and... <laughs> insanity but you see these tables I want to be able to um, put stuff on the tables without it despawning when I load back in because it takes a lot of work to make the stuff and uh, I have a feeling that fox is gonna come after me I haven't had a fox when I went hunting uh, I caught a wolf a bear no two bears um, a pig a lamb and a raccoon. <laughs> Don't really want to fight a, fight a fox today. So we're going to be starting a whole new season while we're waiting. And uh, I'm actually really excited to start a new season because um, the next uh the the new uh way to start the game ah there he is oh no nope, that's a raccoon yeah dude you scared me <laughs> anyway the new start to the game uh is awesome and uh so much better it um all right, let's go upstairs. Are you excited? All right, here's where you can buy beds. <laughs> and here's some clothes that you can buy. This took a long time. I couldn't possibly have put all of this on video. And uh, we're going to have some looms for sale. Here's the loom I'm using. And we'll have a couple of looms for sale. And boxes with, you know, yarn and cloth. I don't think I brought the cloth with me. Uh, that's not enough bark to make cloth yet, but uh, you know, it's weird You go to all this trouble to get a loom to make cloth, but all the clothes are made on the workbench all of them and uh, well, maybe the Sort of armor isn't no, no, workbench and workbench I'm afraid we're gonna have to deal with that fox Sounds like he's right outside the door. Oh, and all the lights. All the lights. We'll be here at nighttime. So uh, I'll be able to show you the lights in uh, a couple of hours here. Yes, I hear you, Fox. I hear you crying and whining and carrying on. But I need my wood. scared me uh, I don't I don't know he must be out in the yard somewhere uh, I don't see him all right uh, no nope, that's the spear I wish I could move this stuff but I think I have to drop it to move it 
because I've got all four slots filled. Uh, this isn't as many logs as I thought it was going to be. Whoa! We're done. That's that's all that we needed. Uh, yeah, so we'll come back to the building when the sun goes down. And, uh, oh, I didn't put anything back here. I wonder if I have anything that I can. Others, those won't fit inside. We can make some forges for sale. That's really something that you'd buy at the building supply, I think. Um, I could probably make heaters. I wonder how many iron ingots I have. Let's find out. Because people need to buy heaters for their houses, too. I think that's furniture. Although it would probably be bought at the building supply. But we're definitely going to come back to this save. Uh, as soon as there's new stuff to do. What am I looking for? Uh, I need to turn that on. Oh, maybe I should get rid of some stuff first. Gain myself a little bit of room here. While I'm struggling to turn around. <laughs> um, need that. I accidentally made sand. <laughs> I was trying to make a um, a spearhead. <laughs> My spear died, and I had to go fishing. And uh, I have to move that down there. Um, I don't need a rock. Put that in there. Uh, actually, I should put two in there because I have um, three fragments here. Uh, okay. Uh, I think that should be okay. What are we at? 20 pounds. Let's see if we can do it. Fifty six pounds. Uh, wonder if I have enough screws. Do I have any? I only have ten screws. There's another 18. I think that's enough for two. I think we might be able to make two of them. <laughs> okay. Let's make another one. Now this is the point um, in the game where you're just making ridiculous stuff. Um, because you can. <laughs> uh, this guy, I mean, this save is completely advanced enough that I can waste materials on heaters that are never going to be used, extra looms. These racks are kind of expensive to make. Um, the clothes are not expensive to make at all, but I really do need to take the workbench back because... I can make another one. It's only four logs, but um, it needs to go back in here. Uh, for the brickworks. Here we go. That crazy raccoon, man. I'm dizzy. Oh my god, I bet I'm thirsty. Here we go. All right. Uh, let's see what time is it now. It's a little bit late uh, to take off across the wilderness, but we can uh, go get um, iron. We don't need aluminum and cobalt, and so going that way is not sensible. There he is. guys are so hard to kill. Oh, goodness. Well, 
Where is he? Oh. Takes so much damage from these little guys. Alright. Listen to that crazy raccoon. <laughs> You're running back and forth. I have some cucumbers. Let me get that back in the ground. What month is it? November. I gotta harvest all this stuff before it all dies. Ugh. Where am I gonna put it all? There's all my cans and seeds. Um, oh, I have all these still. Ruh -roh. This is all in the way. This is giving me uh, stamina. Now it's 165, 166. Where am I going to put all those foods? Maybe I'll let them rot. Garden usually has weeds in it when the season's over. Crazy raccoon. Did I lose arrows? I did. I forgot to go look for them. Uh, oh boy. Carrying so much stuff. Including four cans. That's not where they go. It's not where that goes. Not where any of this stuff goes. <laughs> All right, now what time is, oh, good grief. It's three o'clock in the afternoon. All right, um, close the door. Shippo. <laughs> um, there we go. Oh, there's more lumber up here. Good grief. Uh, on our um, new season, we'll be right next to a cave, which is going to make life so much easier because this run takes um, four, uh, at least four full runs of my stamina to get to. And we'll just let it catch back up there. Here's my tea. But at least we do have 166 stamina. And um, so we can get pretty far if we don't get into any arguments on the way, you know, with uh, wild animals. The leaves are turning, it's kind of cold. I don't have anything on, do I? Just my Kevlar and my helmet, which is keeping me relatively warmer than the outside, but not much. Okay, oh, let's check the map. Oh boy, so far off course. So typical of me. <laughs> I do better when I'm on my own, like when I'm not doing a video, I do a little bit better, although not much, but I, I do get to where I'm going quicker. <laughs> uh, both of the other um, sites where you spawn into the game, both of them are closer to caves than this. like immediately close to caves <laughs> so this has got to be the worst place to start for sure <laughs> I think I finally got that volume to something that I can deal with Oh, that 
ocean is awesome. All right, let's see how far we have to go for this stuff. It's funny, it's like every single time I come to the cave, I have to walk pretty far through it before stuff will start spawning into it. Uh, here we go. It happens every single time I come over here. And he may have changed the spawn rate on some stuff as well. One thing, though, we haven't been all the way through this cave even one time yet. Oh, you're tired, huh? Okay. Uh, caves uh, don't offer any protection from the weather. Um, it's just as cold um, inside the cave as it is outside in the world. We've even had a fix that had to get rid of the rain. It was raining inside the cave at one point. God, I can't wait to see what else he's gonna add to caves. I hope he doesn't add bears. <laughs> it would be their natural habitat. Like if you go to the caves in the winter time, you have to deal with bears. <laughs> Maybe we could build this sneak past them a little bit. <laughs> All right, Foxo, I know you're up there. Oh, wow. This is a really long dead end. <laughs> oh, I thought there was something there. A lot of water in this cave. But there's no vegetation on the walls. One of the caves uh, has more vegetation in it. I don't know which one it is. We'll have to figure that out. Maybe it's because my vegetation is set too low. If I turn it up all the way, will we have vegetation in here? We'll see. Wait, am I carrying? Oh, there it is. Wow. This is a huge cave. I mean, it's, and it's one of the small ones. There's some more. Hopefully, this one's more. No, it's just one piece of iron. We're not doing too good on the iron this time. I never did, uh, oops, that's the wrong button, I'm sorry. Uh, Itempedia, what do we need lead for? Iron, aluminum, iron. Um. How do you make Kevlar? Kevlar. No, nope. plastic cloth. Um. I, yeah, I don't, I don't know. All right, well. 44 pounds. Oops. There's one. Hope we're able to find it in all this water. I saw something. There's another iron. So lead. It's not easy to see the stuff that's in the water there. How am I doing health-wise? I'm great. 
I ate a ration right before I started uh, the episode because uh, piecemeal eating wasn't getting me there at all. Oh, I thought that was something different. <laughs> There's one. Just thought we'd grab some of this stuff and uh, get some iron done because uh, I ran through it today, man. All right. feels like the wrong way. Let's look at the map. Nope, that's better. We'll go this way. You can use it. If you know which way the entrance is facing, you can use your map to kind of, kind of work it out. And it's nighttime, right? So, is it? Nope, it's only 6 p.m. We did okay. All right, nothing but a raccoon out there at the moment, so look at this. <laughs> so we got two, 10, 12, 12 lead and nine iron this time. Last time we got more iron than lead and that's what I was hoping for. Uh, because I just don't know what to do with the lead, I guess, other than make steel. It's crazy how well my game is running and how well my OBS is running with full foliage on. Uh, it's awesome, really, because I struggle uh, to get my uh, OBS running without any foliage on most of the time. Oops, I made him tired. All of my wrong turns. It's also awesome how it only took us um, three hours to get there get all of those um, ingots, or uh, ores rather, and start heading back. Oops, turn the map off. Can't see where you're going. I hit the map button too many times. I think I figured out why it's so hard for me to get out of the menus. <laughs> I remapped um, my inventory key and um, it's uh, the key is used for other things as well and so if you have remapped keys and you're having a hard time um, with the UI the interface um, then uh, check and see if you've remapped uh, to something that's being used he nipped me on my knee. I'm also going to have to make some bandages when I get uh, back to this save. There's a deer finally. I could have used you yesterday when I was hunting. All right, so back at the grocery store. And then all the way across the yard here. And we're going to need coal from upstairs. Oh, now we've got some major lag. Okay. Now it's all making sense. <laughs> we also haven't made a case for a lead ingot. And I think I've got a ton of lead put away. So I think we'll do a run um, 
and make some lead ingot and build a case for it. And I don't have one of those left. Oh, there's something in there. Fragments. There we go. There's a full run of iron. Okay, so we'll put the leftover lead down there. And let's, oops, let's make a case here. Uh, steel lead. Uh, I always forget what is front. So we need 10 nails and 15 planks. Where am I gonna put them? <laughs> there we go. I think I have 15 left. <laughs> right. I'll probably uh, revisit this save once I've got everything all stocked up again here. And uh, is it dark yet? Darn it! I want you guys to see the grocery store in the dark. <laughs> I don't have an effective way. I can store some of these veg vegetables. Um, did he get in? No, he's over there still. He's trying to steal food. Uh, let's see. I have room in both fridges. So I can store some vegetables in fridges. Uh, that's not where the room is. Oh, I have no water. Oh, that was on. Maybe I should have built a sink out here. It's funny, when I'm not on video, I usually uh, just jump over the fence. <laughs> there we go. Might as well make some steak. I'm hungry. I still want fried mushrooms, though. Grab some of these. I will plant them again, even though it's November. Uh, although I should probably hold back some seed. How much room do I have? I have room for one more. Put some melons away. The thing is, is that during the winter time, uh, I can almost always find uh, all of the food that I need um, without uh, without using the garden. Maybe one more. Okay. So all this is really just extra. And I have the food in here. How many seeds do I have for that? 45. I'm pretty sure I can replant. <laughs> and if I remember to harvest again, it'll be awesome. <laughs> About some potatoes. Everybody likes a good baked potato in the middle of winter. Put some potatoes away. Alrighty. 
even though uh, they changed this and the mushrooms don't expire now, um, it'd still be kind of cool to put them in the fridge. Oops. There we go. I don't have room for corn. All right. Uh, what do I need? Do I need some? Uh, yep. I'll eat a couple of these as well, since I picked up a couple. It's getting dark. We're gonna get to see what the place looks like in the dark. <laughs> a couple of good steaks there. All right. That served to make me very thirsty. <laughs> there we go. All right, let's turn off uh, this light and put something smaller in my hand. There we go. Isn't that awesome? There is the grocery store. I am, I'm really happy with how it came out. Um, I would like uh, this tree to not be in my way. I would like to uh, be able to put stuff on the counters, um, but I completely understand they're not being placeables. I mean, it's a survival game. <laughs> And uh, we're supposed to be trying to survive, um, you know, post-apocalypse. <laughs> We've got vampire zombies after us. And uh, <laughs> uh, so it shouldn't be so, um, uh, I don't know, awesome. <laughs> but I'm really happy with the lights. I, you know, in the past people have said these lanterns don't cast enough light. I think it's just quantity. There's our clothes, and we could buy beds and storage boxes. Storage boxes for sale. I could make a lot more storage boxes and like pile them up in this corner for sale. But uh, overall, I mean, we built this beautiful house. It's it's amazing. I love this house, and. Uh, even though it's got some uh, stuff coming through the ground, coming through the floorboards. We've got this uh, awesome glass that we got from version seven. And these amazing ceilings, they're so beautiful. All this furniture. This is not surviving anymore, this is succeeding. When you're at a point where you can make all this furniture um, and we have two fridges, two sinks, um, the stove, several, several coal heaters, um, forges, we have three forges, um, and this awesome garden space that we just built. Uh, we'll turn the light on again so we can see that all that garden space. This amazing building, um, I think this came with version five, if possibly, uh, or six. I think, I think it was version five though. Um, it, was, it was like super hard to build right at first, but uh, on one save I lived in it uh, all winter, which was amazing. We have this huge deck area where I'm gonna uh, bring all of the planks and I'll have storage boxes piled up here as well uh, for sale. We might have some iron in here. We do, it's just three pieces and three in there. And we got our back deck overlooking the pond here with the pillars. And uh, this where we used to sleep. We used to sleep right here uh, after we tore down that initial little building that was out there. And uh, we just moved this 
uh, drying area for meat. Here's another melon, I'll take that. And the power, the power at first was a big struggle. We started getting power as soon as we had the blueprint for it. Um, and we started with just these, uh, just this solar power here, four panels and a, and a battery. And we couldn't hardly run anything. And the only reason that we needed power was to get the oil so that we could run a circular saw. And now we have all of this wind power and these glass floors. I never finished the railing. Oh my gosh, I'll have to finish that. So I'm super, super happy uh, with this build. And uh, the next one's going to be even more amazing because we are going to have the ability to do so much more. I want to thank you all so much for coming along on season one. Um, I hope that you enjoy season two. Um, we're going to start out way ahead of the game. We'll start out right on uh, day one as soon as we wake up, but we're going to be way ahead of the game because version eight is so amazing. So if you are new to the channel, please consider subscribing. If you like the content, please click the like button. And we will see you next time on The Infected Season 2, Episode 1. Have a great day.